So I don't believe in any God figure because it, because I'm sorry, <laughs> because it is, but just a belief and no more. A belief is not truth. It is a belief. Here's the question though, Roland Keith. What if it's true? What if it's more than a belief? Now, now a belief doesn't mean anything that means it's, a belief is not, is not necessarily true or false. A belief in the Easter bunny or the tooth fairy, that's a belief, but also a belief in gravity. That's a belief. One's true. One is not. The issue is, do you have any reason to believe the Bible? Because if you have any reason to believe the Bible, then you didn't have, you then have a reason to believe what the Bible says. Here's why you might want to think about having some reasons to believe the Bible. If the Bible is truth, again, beliefs can be true. Okay. We believe that those with XY chromosomes, the male gender are different than those with the XX chromosomal makeup, but the two together can make another person. We believe in gravity. We believe in so many different things. We believe that fire is hot to the touch. That's a belief that's true. Okay. Now, that being stated, are there reasons to believe the Bible is true? Because again, if there is, then if the if there's reason to believe that the Bible is true, then there's reason to believe that what the Bible says is also true and that we should believe that. Here's why you should believe the Bible. One, because the historical accounts are true. There's never been a discovery. There's never been anyone to conclusively prove that any of the historical um, accounts in the Bible are untrue. Where it names kings and queens and migrations of people and so forth, we can't find any any example of anyone disproving that. As a matter of fact, uh, there was I, I can't think of the man the the, the most famous archaeologist. Uh, he's got a weird name. I can't think of his name off, off the top of my head. But what he has stated is that there's never been an an actual archaeological find that has ever disproven the Bible. You would expect that there would be something to find that would that that would disprove the Bible. For example. The, in the Book of Mormon, they speak of this society in South America with gold and iron and ships and so forth, and they give a general area, but nowhere in this area have we found anything like we found things that are quite the contrary. However, when we talk about the Bible, we end up finding archaeological finds and digs that show that, yeah, this happened. These were there. Even if we're not sure, we end up finding it later. That being the case, that's not the most compelling reason. Even when it states certain things that are just scientifically fact or we had no way of knowing for example certain celestial bodies that there's no way of knowing they, they existed with the naked eye but we find these things out later but more to the point the biggest reason why you should believe the bible is because of the prophecies that have come true there's no book on the planet not one that has given predictive prophecy that has come true save the bible the only portions of prophecy that have not come true are the ones that were not supposed to come true yet but they are to come true in the past i mean the future such as christ's return things like that but in terms of let's say alexander the great um his rise and fall that was prophesied perfectly israel's departure from the land brought back and then again put out and then brought back again that was prophesied jesus's uh life his birth, his death, his burial, his resurrection, that was prophesied. Even if you think it's not true, anyone can make up that fairy tale. Well, here's a problem, though. We've got scholars who are not Christian, historians who verify the fact that there were people that at least believed that, even to the point of death, those that were saying they were eyewitnesses to that. So because of that, if you are going to believe anything else historical in nature, such as the founding of our country, which all we have to go off of is other people's eyewitness testimonies that have been accounted and handed down throughout the history, then why would you not do the same thing for the Bible? Use the sta same standard with the Bible as you would anything else. And I promise you, the Bible will find its place in your heart and you would place your faith in Christ if you are intellectually honest and logical. Amen.